at least four people dead and hundreds of homes destroyed. Nebraska's oh, God. Governor Jim Kalin. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Uh, the Nebraska? You know how many people are dying? The tornado watch in effect now for most of southeastern Texas. President Biden speaking by phone with Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu today about a potential ceasefire deal. National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby. Hamas has not fully rejected it. They are considering this proposal on the table. If we can get that in place, then that gives you six weeks of peace. It gives you no fighting for six Shut, weeks, and that includes no fighting up, uh, in Rafa. And what we're hoping is Stand that down. after six weeks of a temporary ceasefire, we can maybe get something more enduring in place. America is listening to Fox News. Specific merchant category codes, MCCs, by payment processors. Here's the story. This is going on state after state. This thing is it's like wildfire going through the states. Uh, an activist bank spurred on by gun control people pushed credit card companies to come up with a merchant code. You know, they have codes for restaurants and stores and gas stations and things to come up with a code for gun stores so that they could track quote unquote suspicious sales and so the organization that puts together these codes came up with a code for gun stores and the credit card company started using them and now states are passing laws forbidding the credit card companies from doing that because that is a registration system for people who are buying guns and so what's happened is like at least uh, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa just said they're going to put a pause on using those codes. They didn't say we're going to get rid of it. We're going to put a pause on trying to see what's going on. But state after state passing laws prohibited the use of budget codes or guns so that that would be, I mean, this would be where Lisa or somebody would have the records of anybody who bought anything from a gun store. It wouldn't have to be a gun. It could be a hat. And then you go on the list, and that gets tracked, and some government agency, believe me, is going to tap into that. NSA probably has all that anyway. Anyway, it's just fascinating to watch how this is going. This is, you know, concealed, or, or rather, constitutional carry is now in 30 states, but it's taken a long time to move. This thing is going from state to state very quickly because it's being viewed as a, a citizen's privacy issue. Fascinating. Let's see, let's John, uh, Casper, Wyoming is on too. Hey, John, we're still talking about uh, using rock salt in your shotgun for self-defense. What do you think? I think that would be a negative on that rock salt. Um, if you have to pull the gun out on somebody, finish the job. As soon as he gets out of the hospital, he's coming for you. He's going to shoot you, and I promise you it's not going to be rock salt. Well, let me give you my take on that. What I don't want to think that you're saying is be sure you kill him. Because that's a really, really bad idea. You want to, if you have to shoot somebody, you shoot them to stop them, not to kill them. If they get out of the hospital and do something else, that, that's them. But let me just tell you, if you finish someone off, you will almost certainly go to prison for that. Even in a self-defense situation? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Because at that point, look, if you shoot somebody, they're down on the ground, and then you shoot them on the ground and kill them to finish them no, off? No, sir. That, yes, sir. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. If he can so my house, and, and I'm fearing for my life, and I pull a gun out on him, I'm shooting him, not with rock salt. Because what's the first thing he's going to do, a majority of the time you hear about, well, this guy here got shot. He got out of prison and came back and shot him because he shot him first. Well, it happens, but again, what I hear you saying, and maybe you don't even know you're saying it, is you're saying be sure you kill him. 
And that's a very bad concept. You want to be shooting them to stop them if they... If they But you want as, a, as soon as the threat is over, if he ran away, he's ready to go. If he falls down and starts fighting, stop shooting. But I, I, you and I are pretty close together on this. I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is be careful how you say this because if you're going around and telling everybody, I'm going to make sure that uh, he never gets out of the hospital, then you get called into court and they say, well, you said you were going to kill somebody. And it's just, it's a problem. I know historically it's a problem for people who have been involved in self-defense shootings if they have made statements about, well, I'm going to make sure that there's only one story being told. That, that kind of thing, that can really work against you. You don't want to be saying that either here or on social media or first, you know, first right. person. Yeah, I, I, that's just it. I didn't say that. I just okay. said you want to stop and eliminate the threat. Excellent. Which is making distance between the two of you. So, yeah, it does. We're on the same page. I just, we, I think we had to work our way around until we were saying the same thing. But I think it's a good thing. I appreciate you calling, sir. Okay, let me get Gary. I'm going to maintain my time. Gary, Lee, I'm sorry we had to get you back in here. You're here. about a a uh, accessory for 870 Remington's uh, it's a uh, laser sight that you can screw into the end of the magazine it replaces the magazine cap oh yeah you know I have seen those but I've never used one do you have one no I was wondering if you had any experience with them
days in about a week and a half. Our number is 866-TALK-GUN. Let's see, Evans in Denver, Colorado on one. Evan, what's on your mind? Well, I just wanted to call Tom, and it's really more of a comment. It's kind of an aside on your conversation about the NRA.
what we hear. Huh? That's our lake. This is the river we used to go, used to go fishing on all the time. It's quite the out.
And uh, I do have family in Mandeville, so it's kind of nice. My mom's 93. 